Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajora Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the first descendant is having server connection issue or can't connect to server and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you are having this trouble, we need to do a restart on our PC. For this hence we don't just, just go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go for power icon over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, try launching the game and that is what we have to do. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to make sure the date, time and region should be correct. So as you can see uh, right now uh, we have to make sure this so just go over here in the search. Go for settings, just type for settings. Now from here go to time and language, go for date and time make sure the time and time zone should be correct this is very important we have to make sure the date the time and time zone should be correct just go back go to the language and region make sure that you are from the same geography so if you're from united states you have to select the united states and make sure that you're on the same geography once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one we have to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go for control panel, search for control panel and open this. Now from here go to system and security, go for windows defender firewall. Now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall. Keep scrolling down and check whether the first descendant is already added. Most probably the game will be already added. So if the game is not there, as you can see the first descendant crossplay beta is already added. Both the private and public is checked. So if the game is not here, we can add it by default, then just click on the change settings. Go for allow another app, go for browse, now go to this PC, go to localist D, go to steam library, steam apps, common, scroll down and navigate to the first descendant steam beta and we have to select the game application, select this one and go for open and we have to add it. So I'm getting the error because it's already added. So once you add the game, we just need to close this, go back, try launch the game. Next one, we have to do a network troubleshoot. So just go over here in the search navigate to settings now from here we have to go over here in the system scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot now from here go to other troubleshoots as you can see there is an option called network and internet click on run this one and do the troubleshoot and once afterwards uh, you can do a restart you can do a restart and once afterwards try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about we have to run few commands in the uh, CMD so I'll be providing these links in the description so you don't have to worry let me copy the first one that is IP config flesh DNS so I have to go over here search for CMD let me search like this and click on run as an administrator and go for yes now paste it and press enter once it is done we have to go for the next one that is IP config release so we have to copy this now paste it sorry there is a mistake let me do this that is ip config re release uh, you have to press this press enter next one that is ip config renew we just need to do like this and we have to press it press enter next one we have to go for uh, nte such win set sorry it is windsock reset so let me copy this and let me paste this press enter next one we have to do like this that is the next one that is net ch int ip reset so i have to copy this paste it press enter next one that is uh, ipv4 reset copy this paste it press enter next one ipv6 copy copy this one by one this is not a big deal so just paste enter last and the least one that is ntch interface tcp reset so just copy this paste it and press enter once afterwards do a restart go back try launching the game this is what we have to do next one is all about we need to perform a network reset for that is we just need to go over here go over here in the search we have to go to settings navigate to network and internet now from here go to advanced network settings now from here we have to go over here go to network reset and over here we have to go for reset now option keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing all the uh, which means you have to connect back to the wi-fi once again once you reset now try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows which is very important so just go over here in the search go to settings once again go to windows update over here make sure that you are on the latest version 
So make sure this is on the latest version and if you are having any update just update it and also keep in mind you have to try a new network as well. You can use instead of using this particular one you can try using any other network which is available. That even did work it for many users as well. So these are the possible workaround which can be done. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.